Hello and welcome back to Digital Asset Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in your corner of the world. The Bank of England governor just advertised XRP by criticizing cross-border payments. So the Bank of England governor, Andrew Bailey, claims cross-border payments are too expensive. So at the ongoing virtual Davos conference, the Bank of England governor... Andrew Bailey mentioned that there were some gaps to fill in digital payments in spite of a flurry of innovation it has witnessed in recent years. We still have some very big gaps to fill. He particularly mentioned cross-border remittances as the obvious one since they are way too expensive. Cross-border payments being the obvious one where the cost of making payments is too high. And while he didn't directly mention XRP, his words can definitely be perceived as a nod to the fifth largest cryptocurrency by market cap. And I'll add to that, I will say that XRP is probably the best for the wholesale cross-border payment system. And I would throw in retail. I would toss it over towards Stellar. And in the Ripple 2020 momentum, Suffice it to say, 2020 was a challenging, at times chaotic and exhausting year. And I want to attempt to recap all of the world's events and certainly hope that 2021 will soon be a bit calmer and more peaceful. So despite these challenges, Ripple had a milestone year and they experienced increased customer growth and traction in key markets and saw incredible innovation from developers in the XRP community. And the team continues to serve customers and partner with industry pioneers who share the vision in enabling the Internet of Value, where money moves as efficiently as information on the Internet. And you can see how that perfectly coincides with the Bank of England governor. In the next article, XLM price forecast Stellar is primed for a 10% short-term upswing amid the massive network expansion and then earlier today we showed and shared how the usdc was already live on stellar in the next article we have u.s vape company analyst v chain vet is the ticker symbol for that if you're an investor and looking to find it they do carry it at bitru if you're living in the u.s and i believe if you're outside the probably one of the easiest would be binance so U.S. vape company enlist VeChain to fight the counterfeits and Puff Bar, a leading vape company, will use the VeChain blockchain to allow customers to verify the authenticity of their vaping products. The company has also started accepting Ethereum and Bitcoin cash as payment methods too. So as a quick recap, the Bank of England governor Andrew Bailey basically stating how cross-border payments are too expensive. And you can easily cheapen that up and make it less expensive by using XRP, especially for wholesale and even Stellar for the retail. And then as the Ripple Insights has shown, they've continued to grow even through the turmoil that we faced in 2020 and 2021. Then we have XLM is priced for a 10% short-term upswing and we'll see how that goes. You know, with every gain, there's always a little stabilization where it might back up just a little before it launches again. And then we have VeChain is obviously there for the supply chain to fight the counterfeiting anyway. And now it's partnering up with Puff Bar, a leading vape company who will use VeChain blockchain to allow customers to verify authenticity. Guys, remember, this is not financial advice. It's for entertainment purposes only. Smash that like and subscribe, and I'll leave you with a final thought. The pessimist sees difficulty in every opportunity, and the optimist sees the opportunity in every difficulty. Much love. We'll catch you in the next one.